After the index procedure, exchange the procedural sheath for an 038 inch or smaller guide wire. Advance the device over the wire until the guide wire exit port is at skin level. Remove the guide wire, then continue advancing the device until mark is observed coming from the marker lumen. Lift the lever to open the foot and gently retract the device against the vessel wall. Stabilize the device at 45 degrees. Depress the plunger with your right thumb to deploy the needles. Use your right thumb on the handle and with two fingers, gently pull the plunger back and out until the suture is taut. Then use the quick cut to cut the suture. Release any tension on the vessel wall before taking note of the depth reference marker above skin level. Lower the lever to close the foot. Retract the device until the guide wire exit port is visible above the skin line. Reintroduce the guide wire to maintain access and pull both the suture limbs out from the proximal guide. Either the snared knot pusher or the suture trimmer can be used to advance the knot. To use the snared knot pusher, thread the long blue rail into the snare and pull through using the snare tab. Wrap the rail around your left index finger and pull taut to remove excess slack. Back out the per-close pro-style device while maintaining guide wire access. Adopt a single-handed position to continue advancing the knot over the wire. When bleeding is controlled, remove the guide wire and continue advancing the knot. Apply slow, consistent increasing tension. Pull on the white-tipped non-rail to lock the suture knot tightly in place. Alternatively, the same knot advancement steps can be performed using the suture trimmer. Note the depth reference markers for comparison. Always adopt a single-handed position in order to apply slow, consistent increasing tension while locking the suture knot. Pull back the white thumb knob to open the white suture gate at the distal end of the suture trimmer. Load both suture limbs into the suture gate before releasing the white thumb knob. Pull the red lever to trim the suture limbs. Perform active confirmation of hemostasis. Apply an appropriate dressing to the access site. Assess the access site as per hospital standard of care. 